Hey guys, in the previous video we learned about how to do GitHub settings and now in this video we are going to learn something very important and that is how to get automatic GitHub notifications on a Slack channel. Now imagine if you are the only person working on a, on a project, let's say on a hobby project, you wouldn't much care about notifications, right? Because well, you are the one who is pushing the change, you are the one who is creating the pull requests, you are the one who is merging everything. Uh, but if you're working in a team uh, with, let's say, more than one person, then you would want to know, let's say, if one of your team members creates a pull request, and let's say your team member might want to know if you have already given some review comments on the pull request, or if you have already merged the pull request. And if, let's say, uh, your test automation framework is running with running in CI/CD, then you also want to know, let's say, if, if a particular pull request triggers uh, it triggers the test and if a build is passed or if a build is failed. So for all these purposes, you would need automated notifications uh, coming from GitHub onto Slack. So in this video, I will show you how we can have a GitHub Slack integration and you will see how easy it is to set up for, for any of your projects. So let's do uh, first things first. Let's first create a Slack channel. Uh, so let's go to Slack. This is my, my Slack channel. I cannot zoom it in, in the left side, but in the left side, uh, this is my company, Power Tester. I have some channels already here, like a general channel, a channel for Project Happium, and I'm going to add a new channel for Project Zero. So let's do that. Uh, zero, and we'll say uh, this channel is for capturing all github notifications for project zero right i'm not going to make it private and i'm just going to create this channel i'm not going to add any people for now because well i'm the only person uh, but if i have more team members then you know i can give name of those team members and they can also get all the notifications which i would see now with this we have a channel on slack and now let's go to the next step and that is to get a github slack integration very easy let's do uh, go to go to chrome uh, let's zoom in a little bit and i will just write github slack integration and let's click on the very first link which is from slack github.com and let's click on slack github I'm going to add it to, to Slack. Uh, by the way, in this page, it tells you how you can subscribe to uh, subscribe to any channel, which is like dash GitHub subscribe and give the name of your, uh, you know, like your username plus the, the repository that you want to subscribe. But first we have to add to Slack. So allow to access the test automation Slack workspace not the test automation i want to add to power tester uh, allow and i already got a notification you would have heard it says you have successfully installed github app on this workspace let's open slack so you can see in the left side under apps now github is already uh, you know installed on slack now let's go back and let's go back and try to follow the instructions which I mentioned here. It says if I give GitHub subscribe and the name of this full repo, I should be able to subscribe to the channel, right? So let's go to zero. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in. I cannot. Yeah, control plus works. Awesome. GitHub subscribe. Let's go back to this repository. Let's copy it. Uh, and let's paste this and that's it and it says uh, subscribe to this particular channel this channel will receive notifications for any new issue that I create any pull request any commits any release any deployments there's also an option to learn more so I've already clicked on this but first let's go back and let's see if it is indeed true or not so let me try to create a create a new issue and let's call it as a new issue and let's call it as uh, add a test automation framework to the project 
let's zoom in a little bit because for now we have not added any uh, test automation framework yet let's call it as an enhancement because it's a new feature and let's submit this new issue and as you heard the noise uh, if i go to windows 2 you can see inside zero we have now this notification that hey a new issue is created by promote as you can already imagine if somebody creates a new pull request if somebody pushes new commits uh, if there are new releases and then new deployments for all those things you will automatically get a notification on slack how cool is that let me show you something else as well let's go back to this um here it talks about getting started subscribing and uh, subscribing so if we go here as you already saw you can subscribe to, uh, to a particular repository we already did that but let's say if you want to subscribe to a particular feature so not just these default things you know that we got issues pull commits release deployment but let's also try to add some more interesting things uh, such as for example reviews and uh, branches because like it's it would be cool to know if a branch is created or if a branch is automatically deleted after merge uh, if you want you can also have it for comments and commits but i think then we will have too much noise so i will not add them for now so for now i will only add reviews and branches so let's go back windows 2 let's copy the whole thing again and let's call it reviews and branches let's see if it works uh, so it says this channel will receive notifications from this and not only till deployments but also for reviews and branches now if you want to unsubscribe to something that is also super easy like instead of saying uh, subscribe you will now say unsubscribe so let's try uh, one more time uh, so I have to say uh, get unsubscribe and if I now want to unsubscribe for comments if I press enter you can see now if we don't have commits anymore very easy and if you want to unsubscribe from the whole repository itself again very easy instead of commit you can just do this and now if you press enter you will unsubscribe from the whole repository i don't want to do it because otherwise i would repeat the whole steps again but if you want to do it then it, then you know how to do it uh, that's it i think that this was like very uh, like a small video but uh, we covered a very important feature in this and in the next video i think now we are ready uh, to add a test automation framework to project zero and start adding tests from there and from now on every time we will create a pull request or do any action on github uh, you know that we will also we can also get notifications on slack so i hope you learned something new and interesting in this video and if you like my channel uh, well please subscribe to it if you like this video press the like button and i hope to see you again in the next video see you cheers bye bye